What's up everybody, it's your favorite ghetto church girl, Sonya Lene, back on YouTube with another video. In this video, I wanna talk about what triggers my pain, okay? What triggers my migraine pain and what I do to, what I do instead of the triggers, you know, like what I eat instead of certain things, what I use instead of certain products and things like that to make it better, okay? so. Let's get into it. The first thing that triggers me is sugar. Y'all, I got to a place where I was, you know, trying to figure out why am I having migraines? What is triggering my migraines? Why do they get so bad? And I start realizing, I started watching. I'm like, okay, let me just pay attention to what I'm doing how much I'm doing it, where I'm going, what happens when, okay? And so sugar, every time I, I and I love candy. You guys know, if y'all know me, you know me. You know I love candy. I am a candy, candy girl. I'm a candy girl, okay? <laughs> anyway, I love candy and so that became a problem for me. Every time I had candy, anytime I would eat anything sweet, whatever it just it, it was just mm -mm, not good so sugar is one of my main triggers now what do i do instead of sugar i try to eat potato chips instead which don't work <laughs> because i still be wanting candy but you know i try to refrain from eating it because more than i like candy i like not having a headache okay y'all stay away from that sugar if you have migraines honey because that's probably what is triggering them another thing that triggers my migraines is stress honey stress 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 i try not to stay stressed okay a lot of things stress me especially when you know i'm struggling financially trying to figure out how my bills are going to get paid um my kids need things that i can't buy or you know, just my relationship, you know, I'm a married woman and marriage, you have some issues. And so, you know, things that stress me out, I try to stay away from. I don't talk to people who always bring in drama. I stopped doing it. I used to like listening to it because it was just entertaining, but now I can't even listen. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I cannot, okay? <laughs> I love my friends uh, and I love my family, but when you always complaining about something and you're not getting up doing anything about it, that bothers me. And it stresses, adds stress. You know what I'm saying? It's added stress and I don't want it. Okay? So I don't like when people are always complaining because here I am in pain all the time. And when I say all the time, yes, I'm in pain right now. I got a headache, but I don't have a migraine. And there are two different things, okay? The difference between headaches and migraines is you can work through a headache. You can walk through a headache. You can talk through a headache. You can do a lot with a headache. But with a migraine, baby, you ain't doing nothing. You finna get somewhere and lay down, cut them lights off, put that cold towel on your head and go sleep. Okay? So... I don't really deal with things that I know are going to stress me out. Now, I thank God for my husband because when it comes to the money and the bills and all of that stuff, he has completely taken over that. Sometimes I still do worry because I see things. I get, you know, certain mail comes in my name. And when I open up that envelope and I see how high the bill is, it does stress me out. But guess what? I have faith in my man. <laughs> my man, my man, my man. And um, he definitely makes sure that, you know, what we need, we get. Okay? So, don't y'all allow no stress in your life. Tell your friends to, to call their other strong friend right now. Because you can't do it. You have to be able to advocate for yourself. Speak up for yourself. People going to get mad at you. But you got to make sure you okay. Because you ain't no good to nobody if you ain't no good to yourself. And if you can, if you can barely get up and go to the bathroom. Because you got a doggone headache. Then how you going to help somebody deal with their problems? You can't. So tell your friend. Your weak friend. Call your other strong friend. Okay? <laughs> tell your weak friend. Call the other a strong friend because this grown friend got to deal with her own stuff and sometimes you got to deal with your own stuff so you got to let people know that you ain't you ain't really got it you're not you're not you you can't do nothing so don't allow other people's stress or yours to cause you 
to have pain all right another thing that triggers my migraines is sunlight and these lights okay if y'all know me y'all know i like my videos to be lit up like a christmas tree because light makes for beautiful videos right but the light bothers me but this is temporary this video ain't that long i'll be fine and after this i'm gonna have some water i'm gonna have something to eat and then um i have a drink that i use it's called the drip drop hydration i'm gonna have one of these y'all i drop it down in a bottle of water and go 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 baby it's good for you so wear your shades honey wear your shades to the grocery store wear your shades outside wear your shades in the house i don't care if you have migraines and you having pain don't worry about what nobody got to say why you care when you in pain I will be sitting up in the house with some shades on, honey. Went to the doctor one day, baby. I put them shades on. I ain't got no shades right here, but I put them shades on, baby. And I sat up in that doctor's office with them shades on, people looking at me. I do not care, honey. It is stopping me from being in pain. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt. So, what did I do? Hmm. And I wear blue light blockers, right? I have glasses that I wear when I edit my videos, when I'm watching videos, when I'm on my phone, whatever. I wear blue light blockers. Most of my glasses have blue light. So the blue light blockers, I don't have to worry about the, the light hurting my eyes. But the reason why I'm not wearing glasses in these videos is because you see the, the ring light and then I have a light here and I have a light here and you can tell where my lights are and I don't want people reading through my glasses so I don't wear glasses when I shoot YouTube videos uh, another thing that uh, triggers my migraines is screen time that's why I wear the blue light blockers phone and computer you have to limit the time you um, are on your phone and you are on your computer i don't care how much you dim the light on your phone it's still gonna bother you it's still gonna bother you so you need to limit your screen time on your phone on your ipad and on your computer and sometimes even the television the television don't bother me that much because my husband has turned down the light on the television and it's so big and it's not close up to me it's far away so the television don't bother me as much as the computer, the phone, and the iPad, baby. Because you know when you on that computer, you got it right here. When you on that phone, you got it right here. So, yeah, don't allow yourself to get in a bad space with your pain because you just want to watch TikTok videos all day. No, you ain't gonna be able to do that. You can't watch TikTok videos all day. You have to limit, especially if you're a content creator, how long you're going to be editing videos. Cause I'm telling you, it's gonna cause some pain and you don't want that. And make sure you wear your blue light blockers when you are editing your videos, when you are, you know, watching um, videos on TikTok. Cause you know, I watch videos all the time. I have to. There are other triggers I just, I watch as the day go on and as as the time go on I try to figure out okay why is this causing me a headache you know and sometimes you just gonna have them you don't need a trigger they the pain is gonna come this why this is exactly why it's called chronic pain it's a bully baby and it's going to bully you it's going to catch you at the times where you feel like you're really good like yesterday I wanted to wash clothes right I knew that you know I had done everything the day before that that, that should have had me feeling pretty good the very next day I got up y'all I cleaned out my closet by the time I got done cleaning out my closet my head was hurting so bad I just had to lay down I wanted to clean the closet first because when I clean my closet and then do laundry I have you know clean space to put my clean clothes and my closet can get dirty real fast because if I got a lot to do I'm in and out and in December I was in and out and I hadn't cleaned my closet since then and so in December I was working I had gigs I had holiday travels and all of that and so we I was just throwing clothes in the closet pulling clothes out throwing clothes in the closet pulling clothes out so the more I come and go the dirtier my closet got so I had to clean the closet out so that I can wash the clothes by the time I got done cleaning out the closet baby I was in the bed couldn't wash the clothes 
Ask me if the clothes wash. No. Because I still got to do that. So hopefully today I may be able to get one or two loads washed. And you know, that's that. But my grains tell you, they, they run your life. You don't. Sorry. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. But you don't run your life. <laughs> that pain runs your life right now. Okay. All I want to do, all I want you guys to do is stay prayerful. Stay before God. Talk to him. And ask him for direction. Because a lot of times... You're going through what you're going through for a reason. And it ain't always for you. It's for somebody else. Number one, I want to say thanks to God for allowing me to go through this. It's not something that I want to go through, but it's something that I know I have to go through. So thank you, God, for choosing me. It makes me feel like you chose me because I'm strong enough to go through it, even though sometimes I feel weak. Okay, and I don't feel like I'm going to make it. But God always gives me strength when I call on him, when I pray. So I know that this is something that I have to go through. And this causes me a lot of ups and downs. Like some days I'm up. Like today I feel great. Um, yes, I have a headache, but I don't have a migraine. So I feel great. And my feel great and your feel great is two different things. Okay. How can you say you feel great when you got a headache? Because that's my feel great. That's my, that's my new norm right now. Okay, so my feel great and your feel great is totally different. So, the so content that I am going to be creating is going to be centered around my pain because that's what I deal with on a daily basis. That's the video, y'all. I ain't got nothing else to say. Uh, watch for your triggers because your triggers and my triggers may be different. There may be other things triggering your migraines. There may be other things triggering your pain. Your pain may not be in your head. Your pain may be in your back because chronic pain can be anywhere. My mother uh, suffers with... Um, fibromyalgia which her pain is all over her body so how can I sit here and complain when my pain is right here and her pain is everywhere okay so respect the people that um, that have chronic pain give them a break because they're not faking it there's no way you can fake it there's no way you can't fake that. Give them a break, y'all. Because this, this stuff hurt. It already hurts. It's already stressful. It's already giving us thoughts of unaliving ourselves. It's already giving us thoughts of running away from our families or leaving our families because we feel like they don't understand what we're going through and we don't want to keep on putting them through what they're going through dealing with us. It's a lot of stress and it's, it causes depression and a lot of anxiety. So please be easy on the people that struggle with chronic pain. Please, I'm begging you because you will cause a person to do something that they don't want to do and you don't want them to do. And then you'll have to live with that. And you don't want that. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching my video. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel because uh there's so much more coming around this topic as i stated in my last video i don't know how long this series of videos is going to um last but i'm gonna ride it out until god say something different okay so we're just gonna keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it all right hit that notification bell because i don't know when these videos coming out honey you just gonna have to hit that notification bell so you can see i'm gonna try to be as consistent as i can that's why i'm batch filming i'm filming more than one video in a day that way i can put up a video at least once a week that way i can be more constant with the videos and y'all won't feel like i just left youtube again i love y'all so much and until next time see y'all bye